Hey there guys, Crystal here, and welcome to my one year later town tour. For those of you who are new to the channel, exactly one year ago today I uploaded my work in progress town tour. My little town of Rosewood is definitely still a work in progress, but I figure why not upload a second tour, since so many of you were asking for one. So to begin, I figure we'll start right at the train station, as if you guys were here visiting my town. Uh, right off the bat we have the fountain that's pretty much the same as last year. Here is the older fashion police station. I think I had the newer-ish one in my old town and I've uh, surrounded the front of it with bushes. Here is my quote-unquote rainbow road. It isn't complete and the colors aren't the same on both sides just yet. I need to make a little bit more space. Uh, here I have my golden rose kind of little area. Fun fact, if you're gonna have golden roses, you should really do it before you plant all your other flowers. I lost so many. Um, here we have my new town flag. If you guys didn't know, a wonderful, wonderful viewer went ahead and made a new icon and everything for me, so I based it off of that. Uh, here is the town hall and everything. This is the only path in Rosewood that has three squares along. Uh, this is where Marshall used to live. I'm a little bit upset that he left, um, but there was nothing I could really do. This is Cobb's house. He's a pig. He's relatively new. Um, he's pretty nice. I, I quite like him. Um, I'm not sure if he's gonna stay permanently, but he's alright, you know what I mean? Um, up here we have this bench which bothers me every day because I feel like it should be closer to the path. I might try and fix it at some point, but you know, we'll see. Um, if you go up here off the path, as it were, I have rows of red and white. I thought that they would look good. Um, over here we have the spa kind of uh, hot spring area. I'm gonna take out the orange trees and put in more bamboo around it. It's definitely still a work in progress. I kind of wish I didn't put it so close to the train tracks, but uh, who knows, I might try and change it in the future. I'm not really sure exactly where I'm going with it yet. As I said, this town tour is still, or this town I guess, is still definitely a work in progress. Uh, here we have my bridge. I really like the red brick bridges and I tried to keep my path kind of close to that. Cafe, still in the same spot. Obviously you can't really move it. Um, behind it I have just fields of different colored roses, um, basically because I don't really have anything else I want to put back here. So I'm going to cover all of this back area with all the different types of roses. Um, my blacks are a little lacking right now. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Here we have retail still covered with pink roses this last year. We have a few bushes planted nearby. Um, over on our left here we have the Canadian flag. <laughs> I am definitely Canadian. It was Canada Day not that long ago, so uh, definitely quite happy about having that there. I think I mentioned this last year, this rock still bothers me that it isn't centered. <laughs> this is Prince. He's a frog. As I said last year, he's pretty cool. <laughs> This is Annalise's house. I think she's in here right now. Um, she's a horse. She's pretty new and I quite like her quite a lot. She's pretty cute and uh, her uh, house, there we go, her house is very pretty. Um, I don't think I've ever really had many horse villagers in my, uh, in my towns, in New Leaf at least. It's kind of weird just thinking about it. I've had so many sheep though. <laughs> I still don't know why. It just seems to be the uh, luck of the draw, I guess. Um, anyway, I have some purple roses around her house. Down here we have Phoebe's house. She is one of my new favorites, and Francine is standing outside. She's pretty awesome. She was still here uh, last year, I believe, when I did my town tour. I'm kind of hoping I can get, uh, I think her name is Chrissy, the kind of sister to Francine. And uh, here is Phoebe. Uh, I actually got her from one of my friend's towns on accident, but I really like her. She's really cool looking and uh, I quite get on with her in terms of personality. Ooh, electric guitar, yes please. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so used to uh, showing people's dream towns and like just having little dialogue conversations with characters instead my characters are trying to talk to me. Um, here is my campsite. I've put in, uh, I guess, a bed since last year almost. A camping cot, I think. Uh, here we have the Zen Garden. I'm not really happy with its placement. I kind of think I should have put it next to the hot springs, but you know, everything's still up in the air. Kyle, I think he was the new villager last year. He's, he's pretty awesome. I quite like him. 
Um, we have another dog-ish animal in town called Chief. Uh, I didn't see him out, but we're gonna pass by his house in a few minutes. I like it because they live really close to each other. <laughs> they're just, they're basically the same, just different colored, obviously. Yep, so this is Chief's house, and he is not in there. <laughs> Um, if you guys are wondering, by the way, obviously Rosewood completely covered in roses. Um, nice little fountain down here. Uh, oh, Sahara is here. <laughs> I also have every single fruit available in the game, so I'm quite happy about that. Francine's house will always bother me that it's not in line with everybody else, but oh well. Down here, um, my beach has really expanded in terms of flowers. It is completely covered both sides of the beach, and uh, both beach areas, I should say. Um, honestly, I don't know what I'm gonna do down here. I feel like I should clear them out and just get rid of them permanently, but like, I, I kind of got used to them, right? Uh, here's the lighthouse. I really like this location for it, and then even more so, I really like this totem pole being right here. I think it's, uh, quite a nice spot for it, personally. Last year, this bridge wasn't even built yet, <laughs> but it definitely is now, and it's very handy. I only have, uh, the two bridges in my, uh, in my town, actually. Uh, oh no. Wait a minute, we went this way. <laughs> okay, so, town tree is definitely not the biggest it could be, although I'm working on it slowly but surely. Um, I have been playing this game since I believe December 23rd, 2014? Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, but I have been in college during that time, so. And here's my newest. She's Gala. She is lovely. I absolutely adore her. I had her in a previous save on New Leaf. Um, I think it might have been the one that got corrupted. I'm not entirely sure. They kind of all blend together now. But uh, she's she's really nice. Um, I kind of like how she has two piggy banks just sat there. <laughs> Going down here, we have uh, Wendy's house. She's pretty nice. Um, I had Timber there at one point, and below I, last year, I remember I had Frank. As you can see, the beach is fully filled up on this side also. Um, now Frank is gone, and now I have the, uh, what's it called, the weather? I don't, I don't remember, I just know it's something that predicts the weather. I think it's like a weather main or something. Um, there isn't anything really much down there other than, you know, obviously more roses, so I guess we can head up towards my house. Um, nice little fence-off area for my Jacob's Ladder. It's the only uh, flowers that I really let grow up here. So, my house is definitely a very much work in progress right now, you guys. I'm so sorry. So, please just keep in mind, really rough work in progress in here. Um, I'm not even sure if I'm going to keep any of the rooms at this moment, but uh, I have Prince, Timbra, Frank, and Antonio here. Cat house, because I love my cats. <laughs> here is Marshall and Goldie, my two favorite villagers. They have unfortunately left while I was at school. It really sucks, but like, you know, I have new favorite villagers, so it's okay. Um, here is the bathroom. It is honestly nearly done. I'm obviously going to expand it fully and put in proper wallpaper, but everything is pretty much in here how I want it. I might put in um, one of the larger tubs, but other than that, it's it's pretty much done. Um, if we go over to the other side, we have my kitchen, which also is a bit more expanded, but not quite done yet. I'm going to be putting in uh, I believe the alpine furniture, as you see here. Um, the alpine table, stuff like that. I think it fits really well. Um, I have my soda case over here because IRL, I love soda. <laughs> it is such a weakness for me. Um, I have my picture of Wendy here because if you guys have ever been in her house, she has uh, fruit and food themed furniture everywhere, so I thought she'd fit in well in the kitchen. Um, back up here is kind of a library slash office area. I think I might be changing that in the near future. Like, I like it, but it's not quite what I want yet. Um, over here, <laughs> I have a lot of the rare fish that you can catch in game. Or not, I mean, coelacanth is obviously rare. The other two, not as rare in my opinion. Nice little spot to uh, chill by the fire. 
The only thing I'm really not happy about in this room right now is the flooring. It's not exactly what I want, but I'm having such troubles trying to choose what flooring exactly I want. I'm very, very, very picky. <laughs> I don't know what it is. This save file, I've just been extremely picky. In my previous ones, I've just automatically, I'm like Alpine or Rococo. Like, I, I can't pick one this time. <laughs> Um, up here is kind of more of a bedroom-ish setting. Again, not really sure about the theme at all. More pictures of Marshall and Goldie because I miss them. <laughs> um, I really like this cute little bear here. I think he fits in well with the uh, overall room. See, like even- I don't even know what's going on in here. I don't know why he's there. <laughs> it's, uh, it's kind of a mess. Um, Zipper is over there, kind of hiding away. <laughs> And then, finally, we're gonna have to go down another flight of stairs, but we're gonna reach the basement, which is kind of obvious what it is, because pretty much everybody who plays this game does this. <laughs> everybody has to have their little Nintendo slash video game room. So, these balloons, I want to eventually have this one be green and that one be red for Mario and Luigi. Um, this room is pretty much identical to how it was last year. I think the couch is new and that abomination over there, the Luigi, Waluigi, and Mario combination. <laughs> He's new, but uh, other than that, everything is pretty much the same, I believe. Um, that's pretty much the only room I'm certain everything is gonna stay the same. I haven't changed it in like a year, so pretty certain I'm okay with it. <laughs> Alrighty, so I believe that was pretty much everything. I say that because like it's my own town, so I know. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I think we'll end it the same way that I ended it last year by sitting on the tree, just seeing the history of Rosewood. And it also gives me a chance to talk to you guys, of course, which is amazing. So I just wanted to thank you guys so much for all the support and everything lately. In the last year, I've gained pretty much a thousand subs, which is amazing. I don't know the exact number I was on this date last year. I wish I could find something to tell me that. Um, let me know down below if you guys have any idea on how to do that, because honestly I've checked and I don't think I can just do it through YouTube. If I could go back to a specific day and check my stats then, that would be amazing. But uh, but yeah, it's definitely been a very, a very long year, but at the same time I can't believe it has been a year. It seems so strange that this time last year, exactly, I was filming my first town tour. But uh, yeah, you guys have been amazing this year. I've definitely uh, expanded a lot on the channel. I've done so many Let's Plays. <laughs> I've uh, been doing a lot of how-tos for Animal Crossing New Leaf, even though, unfortunately, it is such an old game now. Um, and I still love it, but the community is really dissipating, I guess, which is very disappointing, but I understand it completely. This is why I was hoping so much that we would eventually get um, a new Animal Crossing on the Wii U, but as time goes on, as I've been saying to people in the comments, it just seems less and less likely that it will happen. So I kind of have high hopes for this Animal Crossing app that I've been hearing rumors about, but like, you know, who knows? We don't know anything about it yet. Um, if anything though, you guys, for sure, 100% when the NX comes out, and if, and I'm hoping it's a, they will, but if they put a new Animal Crossing on it, I'm 100% gonna play it with you guys. It's gonna be a full Let's Play, not just you know, small little videos like is what I've been able to do with New Leaf, simply because um, filming on the 3DS, obviously I have some sort of method, but it isn't the best quality. So uh, I hope that uh, my capture card is able to work with the NX. I think it will be able to, hopefully. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just want to thank you guys. You guys are absolutely amazing to me. Every time I post a video, I get a lot of really nice, lovely comments, and it's just so lovely to chat with you guys. So I hope that this town tour kind of uh, lived up to your expectations. I feel like my town isn't good enough yet, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to leave some links to my older videos here, and I will see you guys next time.